Dilly and the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Right, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. So, as per the interview yesterday with Eddie Hearn and IFL, while he's over there in America, he said that Dylan White will be putting out a statement today. This may well still happen, but for now, Dylan White has just put this up over on his Instagram. So if you want to go read it officially, just go to his Instagram. And this is what Dylan White had to say. I'm so disappointed with the rubbish that has been said about me over the last few days. I have lawyers dealing with it and I've been told that I can't talk about it for good legal reasons. I was cleared to fight and I won that fight fair and square. Thanks for all the support. It really means a lot to me. Dylan White's statement. So... What he's talking about with the lawyers, again, we can put two and two together with what Eddie Holmes said yesterday, is the fact that Dylan White is going through some kind of litigation battle or legal battles, whatever you want to call it, with those who put out the stories and quite clearly embellished on it. Maybe made stuff up. And of course, since then, some doctors have been having interviews and saying that they were involved and there's X amount of different substances found in his body. Basically just anything for a story is what's happened. So that's where the legal side will come in. I don't think that the lawyers got anything to do with UCAD or British Boxing Board of Control because as I said, he was cleared to fight. So whatever it was that they found and he had a hearing, it was all dealt with, it was cleared before he walked to the ring. So that's that side to it. So whatever it was, this adverse finding was cleared up. Okay, so obviously I haven't watched any other video on this. I've been keeping my own thoughts and been doing my own videos and I haven't been looking at other channels, um, including those who I like and I respect. I haven't been checking out their opinions. I just wanted to keep, keep my own. I didn't want to be swayed or have things or seeds planted or anything like that. And of course, what I didn't want to do is get angry <laughs> as well, because I know a lot of people will jump on this and you can't really blame too many people for jumping on it too much because when the news comes out about anything, you pretty much believe it, right? Um, it is what it is. But if you think about it logically, Dylan White so close to a world title fight, do you really think he'd do something on purpose? Of course not. He'd have to be an absolute l l lunatic to do so. So I imagine that whoever put out these stories they have just embellished on it. They've exaggerated a lot of things or their sources were wrong and whatever else. But imagine Diddy White's psychological battle for what, three, four days before the fight, knowing that he's done nothing wrong, knowing that he's past Vada, knowing that all these kind of things, but he knows at some point, somebody somewhere will find out about this and print a story on it. So this story could have dropped at any moment. So he's going through the final preparations of his fight with Oscar Rivas on a very, very important fight for him with that on his mind, that this story could be popped any minute. This story could be released one hour before he was due to do a ring walk. It could happen at any point. So this is gonna be on his mind. Even though he knows he's innocent, he knows that what people are like in general, people will jump on it. Because there's a lot of people out there who would love this to be real. They would love this to be true for whatever reason it may be. Maybe a lot of people, like, for example, Wilder fans don't want to see Wilder taking on Dylan White. I don't know why you wouldn't want to see it, but they don't. Maybe some Tyson Fury fans because Tyson and Dylan White's been having this conflict. Maybe AJ fans because AJ and Dylan White have been having these conflicts as well because um, Dylan White said about the uh, TUEs and things like that. So people will be people. People will believe what they want to believe. And ultimately, a lot of people wanted this to be true. For me, as I said, even if I don't like a fighter, I usually try and refrain until the facts come out. And I dealt with this situation exactly how I did with uh, Jarrell Miller and others. I never jumped one time, like a two feet in. Um, but you know what, we live and learn. But with um, Dillian, it is obvious, isn't it? He's not gonna do something on purpose. He's not gonna risk it. He really isn't. And Listen, he's right to be disappointed because there's going to be a lot of people who are Dylan White fans who are jumping all over it, calling him a drug cheat. They're probably sending him messages all over social media and whatever else and having discussions in chat rooms and here on YouTube and wherever else calling him a drug cheat when he, he hasn't done anything. 
which is what I said to you guys. So with the likes of, say, Wilder, while Wilder is entitled to, to his opinion and he wants a clean sport, so, which is nothing wrong with that, except he doesn't mention about his brother, is what it is, but the way that he would jump, it never occurred to him that Dean White has passed all the tests that he has done through Varda. Because Wilder only does Varda. Dylan White has also been doing Varda. What Dylan White has been paying out of his own pocket to do extra testing for him and his opponent through Varda and UCAD. So listen, it is what it is. People will say what they're gonna say. And I would imagine that there's gonna be a lot of channels out there who are gonna be eating humble pie after this one. Because it's ridiculous how people just jump and people get on their moral high horse and you should be banning drugs and you should be doing this and how dare he do this and blah, 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 without knowing the facts because he believed an article in Boxing Scene. Boxing Scene, while they do provide a lot of good information, not exactly a reliable source at the best of times. They've been caught out on lies many times. So always take stories with a pinch of salt, always. But listen, um, I would imagine that this whole thing is done with, as far as UCAD, British Boxing Board of Control, VADA, WBC and that as well. Of course, WBC, they'd like some information just to know, but for their point of view, he's passed VADA. So everything was okay. He was cleared to fight against Oscar Rivas. He was cleared to fight. I mean, should Eddie Hearn have pulled to fight? Should Eddie, um, should Didion White have not fought, even though he was cleared? Of course not. And people want to talk about how Oscar Rivas should have known. For what reason? Again, that would be more psychological warfare on him because he would have had doubts as well. It's a natural reaction. But the fact is, all these stories were coming out about Dillian quite clearly embellished, just exaggerated. And that's pretty much where the lawyers come into it, I would imagine. But as he says, he can't talk about it until everything goes through the legal cases against these people, these media outlets. I don't know whether some of these will be YouTubers as well. I have no idea. Hopefully I'm not one of them. I wouldn't imagine so, but um, I think that there's so many people just wanted this to be true. And it's almost disgusting to be honest with you. But anyway, it is what it is. He was cleared to fight and he won that fight fair and square, as he put it. So people want to jump up all over it. Do what you got to do. But ultimately, you're, all gonna, you're gonna be the ones with egg on your face. If you're being going out there blasting, getting white over this without knowing the facts, because this isn't the first time. This isn't the first time at the rodeo where stories have come out about fighters failing tests and then ultimately it turned out to be a complete lie. You know, people should always judge it by the fact of the case. But anyway, I mean, listen, that's my thoughts on it. So Didier, he can't speak too much on it purely because um, of the legal ramifications, potentially at least, against those that he's... I imagine suing right but listen it is what it is and Dillian White of course he's going to be very disappointed because people interviewed Dillian Dillian's very open with people and I imagine that he's probably had interviews with boxing scene and maybe some other channels I don't as I said I don't know if if any channels have been going at him but I would imagine that there will be a lot of them and it wouldn't be too difficult to narrow down who they are and I'm pretty sure that they are American based, right? But it is what it is. I mean, what can you do about it? People will have an opinion. People will exaggerate it. People will make out that everything is factual. Why? Just to get views is what they want to do. This is a view story, isn't it? But thing is, I mean, what can you do? For me, I always felt that Dillian would never do something on purpose. And I know that a lot of you guys um, who are with me here on uh, YouTube as well, would also feel that, that he would never do something on purpose. If something ever did happen, it would be purely down to an error, as in he didn't watch what he was eating or drinking or something like that, but he'd never do something on purpose. But the fact remains, he passed Varda. And this one with UCAD was sorted out. It was cleared up before the fight. But as I said, people will find out about things and blow up stories and whatever else and the public don't know do they so anyway it is what it is um i'm sure that diggy has been going through a bit of hell lately mentally even before the fight leading up to the fight even in the ring i mean look at the first couple of rounds he looked well the first round certainly he looked very uninterested maybe that was playing on his mind i don't know 
Anyway, so that is Dillian White's statement. I'll read it out once more. I'm so disappointed with the rubbish that has been said about me over the last few days. I have lawyers dealing with it, and I've been told that I can't talk about it for good legal reasons. I was cleared to fight, and I won that fight fair and square. Thanks for the support. It really means a lot to me. Dillian White's statement. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next one.